Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a no repeats dumbbell strength workout. So grab your weights and let's get to it. All right, hello team, it is time to get started. It's a no repeats workout, yay! All right, we have 24 exercises today. We'll kind of go through different intervals of minutes to 45 to 30 seconds to 20 seconds. Um, as for weight, because we are going to be doing 24 different exercises, we're gonna need lighter weights for those arms and isolated exercises, and we're gonna need larger weights for some of those big compound moves. So I'm gonna be using anything from five pounds or eight pounds up to my 35 today, all right? Let's go ahead and warm up here. We're gonna hinge forward here with our hips on our hands and then push our hips forward, okay? Just hinge and push back nice and soft with the knees. Try to get neutral in the spine and to tabletop here at the floor. And then when we come up this time, let's go ahead and reach back into that back bend, hinge forward and back into that back bend, good. There you go, and again. Oh, nice work. All right, we're gonna go into a windmill. We're gonna touch down, we're gonna get a little twist here, reach over, head. This, uh, today we're gonna have our stretch at the end of this workout, five minutes. Please let me know, give me a comment. Do you like just having that extra video to click on? Do you prefer uh, having the, the stretching in the video? We'll get it set for you, okay? Whoop, there we go. Down and up, reach, reach across. Try to keep those legs straight with a soft bend in the knee as much as you can. Three, two, and one. Great job. Now we're gonna touch down and reach, okay? Three, two, and one. Touch down and reach. There you go, that's it. Up and down, up and down. Just moving through our joints here. Getting the body a little bit warmed up. We're gonna have cardio today. Everything is low impact, yay. I will maybe bring it up a notch for those who want to, but mostly low impact here. Three, two, and one. Now I want you to lunge to the side here. You can just slide over. You might touch down if you're there. If you can go even lower, you might go all the way down and up and over, okay? I'll leave that up to you. Do what feels comfortable, but gives you a nice stretch. Great job, side to side again. You can stay high with this, that feels good. Good, three, two, and one. Nice work, all right, let's go ahead and circle it nice and big here. Let's just do a backstroke. Oh, there we go. Loosen up those shoulders. Whoo! Great. Well, let's now bring it around to the front. There you go. Good. Butterfly. Butterfly. All right. We'll get started with a little cardio. We'll do some low jumping jacks here in a few, and then we'll move through through this uh, workout. Remember, the first two exercises will be a minute. The next two will be 45. The next two 30, and the next two 20. So those intervals. Let's go ahead and rest are going to go down as we work through this, okay? And then we'll go back to the top. So we have three of those segments. All right, so I think you're gonna love this. Let's go ahead, we're gonna get ready with that low jack. I want you to tap out overhead. Three, two, and one. There you go, tap it out. For some of you, go ahead and do that jumping jack. It is a minute long, so maybe you wanna do a couple uh, tap outs and maybe you wanna bring it high, okay, for those who can jump. Up to you, just keep moving, all right? I'm gonna bring mine to a jump, but remember, this is a low impact workout. No need, no pressure to go into that full jumping jack today, okay? Here we go, but I'm going for it. I need to release a little, feels good. There you go, good. We're halfway through that minute. 30 more seconds to go, feels good, all right. We're gonna have dumbbells. We're gonna have some body weight exercises such as push-ups. A lot of this will be using dumbbells today. There you go. A little bit of core without the dumbbells as well. Woo, 10 seconds, team. That's it, keep it coming. Here we go. Three, two, and one. We have our goblet. I'm gonna go with 35. Now remember, this is a minute long of squats, so Start with some heavy weight, maybe decrease your weight as you go. 
or you might end up at body weight at some point here, okay? I'm gonna try to go heavy and stick with it. Three, two, and one. Here we go, squat it out. Keep that weight close to your body, up and down. Good. Couple ways to modify during this is to find some lighter weight and keep moving, because it is a minute long. All right. Or put your weight down and keep going with squats. Body weight, another way, okay? If you find that your core is tired today, maybe you did a hard ab workout yesterday and holding this weight, we're halfway holding this weight here. Feels like a little much, you're starting to feel that lower back. Maybe bringing it down here with your squat feels a little bit better. All right, so you do you, modify, find your challenge. And I'm feeling that challenge on the legs here with this minute. Our next two exercises coming up are body weight, and they're 45 seconds long. Three, can't say body weight, upper body. Three, two, and one. Bent over row, 45 seconds. I'm gonna try to go with my 20s. Here we go. Three, two, and one. 45 seconds, squeeze. I'm gonna go palms in here on this one. Neutral grip. Now. 45 seconds here. We gotta draw that belly button in a little bit. Expand the ribs, squeeze the glutes. Make sure we're not feeling lower back here. Trying to work that upper back squeeze. That's it, team. Remember, everything is one and done. So while you're working and you're feeling like, oh, really don't like this, no worries, because you won't see it again. There you go. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo, nice work. All right, rear flies. I'm gonna go eights on this one. It's 45 seconds. There's a chance I may need to go down to fives. We'll see, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go. On these, it's less is more. Less is more, because we wanna control that weight. We don't wanna just drop it to the floor, okay? We don't want to come up here and just drop it or swing it and use our body. Controlled movements up and down. There you go, good. I know we're bent over again, so if you need to stand up for a second, stand up, release, come back down. Try squeezing those glutes a little, pushing those feet in. Ooh, 10 more seconds, team, you've got this. Last one here too. Good, slight bend in the elbow. Three, two, and one. I took us a little over, okay. Hammer curls are going into biceps. For a hammer, there's, oops. <laughs> there's a lot of forms, so I'm gonna go with tens, okay? Three, two, and one. Plus we've got another curl coming up with our legs, so it's okay. Let's go hammers, elbows in place here. And on this one, we could swing the way, we could drop it. I see a lot of that, just this loosey-goosey movement. Sometimes we bring the arms up high. I want you to keep those elbows in place and I want control. When you lower the weight, lower to where there's still a little bend in the elbow and some contraction. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we're gonna go squat to curl here. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. I think I'll grab a 20. So I come down, you can curl as you come down or squat and then curl. All right, three, two, and one. Here we go, squat, curl. Good. So adding legs back in here a little bit. Ooh, not your goblet squat. It's a squat to curl. Tricky, tricky, I know. Different exercise. <laughs> there you go. That's it, again, those elbows are in place. Squeeze that dumbbell, give it a curl. Three, two, and one. My Popeyes are on fire. All right, mountain climbers. Okay, we're at the floor. Again, tap this out. You don't have to run it or find an incline as well off of a chair if you need to or bench. Three, two, and one. So let's stop, start, sorry, with that low impact. If you want, we can bring it up to 
a bit of a run here, okay? This is only 20 seconds, so I'm gonna move it a little quicker, but tap it out if you need to. Three, two, and one. We're going right into a bulldog here, shoulder tap. So we're gonna hover. If you can't shoulder tap today, that's okay. Just hover and hold for 20 seconds. It's great core strength. If you're there with me, we're gonna go into that shoulder tap. Three, two, and one. Here we go, tap it out. I want it fast, but I want it controlled. We're trying to get in as many taps and we're trying not to move that body. We're trying to control our taps so we don't touch and drop, touch and drop. All right, smooth motions. Three, two, and one. Woo, great job team. That's a full through my different intervals, okay, a full circuit. We're going back to the top. We're gonna march it out. Some of us will wanna jog it. Some of us will wanna do some high knees. It's a minute. I would say a jog or a march. Three, two, and one. March it out. If you have space, maybe you wanna move. It always feels better. Feels like we're getting somewhere if we move into our space, okay? So I, I tend to like to move. But if you want, you can run it as well. Remember, it is a low impact workout. Keep it low impact. Just exaggerate those movements. Lift those knees, move those elbows, pull back with those elbows. All right, large movements here, or run it out. All right, we're halfway. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna jog it out here for a little bit. Let me know, do you think there's such a thing? Is there a difference between jogging and running? Is it all the same, just running? <laughs> oh, people differ on that topic. All right, there we go. That's it, keep moving. Bringing that heart rate up. Woo! Three, two, and one. Great job. I'm gonna take one dumbbell, but you could take two here for this. We have a sumo deadlift. So you could have another dumbbell, and we could do here. It is a minute. I'm gonna go with my 35. Just use one and hold on to the two sides. Three, two, and one. On this one, team, we're pushing those hips back, okay? It's not a squat. It's a deadlift, so push the hips back. Keep them just above the knees. Press your feet in and away like you're gonna rip your mat apart. Squeeze those glutes tight. It keeps us in the bottom and out of that lower back. Woo, that's it. Now, with all that activation, all that pushing away, squeezing, that 35 pound feels really good for this minute workout today. Halfway. Good, don't, don't reach for the ground. Okay, shoulders are down and back. We're getting down there by bending those knees, okay? But keeping that bottom just slightly elevated above the, above the knees. Woo, there we go, good. Whew, nice work. Holy moly, a minute is real. There we go. We got this. Three, two, and one. Nice work, we're on to that upper body for 45 seconds. We have a chest press. I think I'm gonna go with 30 pounds. Make sure you're challenging yourself with your weights, okay? Depends on your day, I get it. Three, two, and one. Here we go, chest press. I get it, right? Some days we're more tired. I will say I'm pretty sore from a workout I did a couple days ago. So it's okay to maybe choose some lighter weight and just move the muscles in the body kind of work it out. Or maybe you didn't get any sleep last night, but you wanted to show up today. I understand that too. But if you can, always try to challenge yourself with that way. It should be tough. It should be sticky. It should not be a breeze or a walk in the park. If it is, it's not gonna challenge you and change you. It's gonna be hard to build that muscle and that strength. Three, two, and one. Hey team, nice work. We have shoulders coming up. All right, I'll raise. I'm gonna try eights on this one, okay? Three, two, and one. So we're gonna make an L, Ooh, maybe fives. And we're gonna make another L to the other side, okay? So one arm is out in front, the other one to the side, and then switch it up. Here you go, team. We got it. <laughs> I feel this I, again. You have to let me know. Are you feeling this? Again, I had a workout that is like, I mean, just made me a little tired, a little sore today. 
Oh, so everything feels a little tougher, and that's okay. Oh, it makes me smile, it makes me laugh. Because my body is like, what did you do to me? <laughs> Exhale as you lift, team. Inhale as you lower. Try not to swing and drop. Lift and lower with control. Three, two, and one. All right, overhead tricep extension. Couple ways to hold this weight, by the two heads or by the single, okay? I like two, I'm going that way with it. Three, two, and one. Here we go, it is 45 seconds. I'm gonna show you this one, holding the two sides. Would you like, if you feel lower back, step that other foot forward a little bit. The other way is to make a little triangle with your hands around that top head and just extend there, Ooh, which is tough as well. Here you go, extend. All right, I'm here, I think I'm stuck now. <laughs> Keep working. Three, two, and one. Rest, nice work team. We're going to the floor for a triangle push up. You're gonna make a triangle with your hands at your sternum for this from the knees. If that hurts your wrist, take the elbows in, come under your shoulders and press there. From the knees, team. Three, two, and one. Here we go. 30 seconds, pump it out. One and done, one and done. Work it here. Whew. And we're feeling it, I know, I know. We already worked chest, we already worked triceps. Now we're back at it again. But I'm stacking them with only one, one and done. We're gonna do some extra here. There you go. Ooh, we got this. We're going into skier swings. Three, two, and one, okay. Skier swings, two dumbbells, not too heavy, team. Mm, just 30 seconds, I'm gonna try 20s. Watch your elbows, pay attention if your elbows hurt. If the grip is about to go, go a little lighter. Three, two, and one. Push those hips back, swing. All right, kind of like that kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing down the middle, but to the sides with two weights. There you go. Pop the hips, swing with the arms. The arms are not raising and lowering that weight. They're just swinging it, using the power from our posterior chain here. Three. Two, and one, rest. All right, we're coming down here to a plank now. Knee tap, so my last two exercises, 20 seconds, kind of core related, get the heart rate elevated. Here we go. Three, two, and one, tap it out. We're in that plank, knee tap, and extend. That's it, 20 seconds, so make them kind of fast, but with good form, squeeze those legs. Ooh, extend. Here you go. Three, two, and one rest. All right. <laughs> this is doing the trick for, for a short workout. We're gonna go lateral shuffle touchdown. Again, you can step, step, touch, step, step, touch. We don't have to jump or hop here, okay? Three, two, and one. So step, step. I'll stay low with you for a couple, and I'm gonna bring that shuffle up. Some of us are okay to shuffle, um, even if we can't jump, the shuffling is fine. You know, you do you, modify, find your challenge there, okay? We do have a minute of this. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit with more of a shuffle. Good. That's it, team. Back and forth. Maybe going down to the floor is not an option either, getting that low. That's okay, stay high. Just move side to side, feels good. We don't get to do that very often. All right, we're over halfway. We have about 23 seconds to go. Hang in there. Woo. Heart rate is coming up. There you go. You got this team. Now stay low if you want more of a challenge. Instead of coming high, stay down in that lateral shuffle. Maybe the arms are out. Three, two, and one. Alternating reverse lunge. We're gonna keep moving. We'll go with 20s on this one. Oh, nope, this is a minute. We're gonna try 15s. <laughs> All right, 15s, 15 to 20. For some of it's just body weight, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go, step it back. On the spot here. Reverse lunge. Ooh, there we go. I don't know, I'm going to 20s. Sometimes we modify down, sometimes we say, nope. We're going up, we can do this. It's a one and done, let's do it. Let's make the most out of this. One exercise for one minute, because it is a one and done. Whew. There you go. Oh, that's it, team. Chest up, try not to collapse. We're halfway. 
You're doing great, stick with it. If it's getting to be too much, find lighter weight, put the weights down, keep on moving. Or maybe the lunges are too much, but you can squat. I know it's not a no repeat, but you could go back to squats. Woo, there you go. That's it. Push through, you got it. That's it. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, we're going down to a row. We're gonna get, get row to push up. I'm gonna keep my 20s. This is a hard one. Please team, feel free to just row with your hands. Find your knees and do a push up. Three, two, and one. Here we go. I'm gonna row, row, and then push up. Good. Row, row, and push up. Nice work. That's it, you got it. Whew. 45 seconds of work. If at any time the row and the push up become too much, remove that weight from the row. Just move your hands in that rowing motion. Do a kneeling push up or just hold your plank. All right, maybe do a few of these and that's all you have. Hold your plank. You're still building that base strength to be able to do more of these in that plank. Woo! Good. Three, two, and one. All right. Let's grab some weight. We have an Arnold's pre Arnold press. Uh, tens for me. Okay, we're gonna do this kneeling. We're gonna squeeze those glutes. Notice my toes are kindly tight enough to tuck. We're gonna open up and press. Good. Now, say so you're like, oh, I really feel my back in that. Try not to lean back. Tuck your pelvis a little bit. If you still feel it, come up and stand with, or do a half kneeling position here. That might help you as well, okay? Squeeze those glutes. Whew. There you go, team. That's it, open wide. Ooh, there you go. Rear metal front delt. Open wide and press. That's it. Holy moly. We got it. That's it. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. <laughs> All right. Next up, a lateral lunge with a curl, okay? Um, I think I'll use my tens on this one. We're gonna go into a lateral lunge, stand up, hammer curl. Three, two, and one. Step to the side, up, and curl. Out to the side, up, and curl, good. If you wanna curl in that lateral lunge, you can. Just be really careful. There's a lot of pressure in the back there. So I like to take it here with that curl at the top. Down, curl at the top. Elbows are in place, don't swing it. Don't drop it. Good, I combine some movements here to keep us moving. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna go to that left side one more time. I think that evens it out. Good, all right. Uh, kickbacks, I'm gonna go with eights. I'm gonna actually step back a little bit here. Kick it, and then back up. Three, two, and one. Here we go. I'm actually gonna stay a bit over because it's only 30 seconds. I'm gonna kick that leg back and kind of balance here as I uh, do my kick back. So kick back that leg, kick back those arms with control though. 90 degrees here at that bend. That's where you start and stop. Good, good. Three, two, and one, rest. Nice work. All right, just two exercises. It's the same one. We're gonna chop to one side, and we're gonna chop to the other. 20 seconds each. I'm just gonna go with 20 pounds. Three, two, and one. Right hand on top, down towards that left hip. And I'm gonna let that outside knee or toe follow my belly button and get a little twisty motion. Chopping down at the hip, stopping at the hip. There you go. Come on, three, two, and one. We're gonna switch, left hand on top, right hand on bottom. Sorry, I had the sniffles today. I think it's a change in temperature. Here we go, up at that left shoulder. We're gonna twist down to that right hip, three, Two and one, here we go. That's it, that's it, blow the air off. That's it, now start light with this. We don't wanna swing really heavy weight. 
until we know how to brace and draw in and control our core during this movement. Three, two, and one. Cool that. All right, I felt that one, team. I don't know about you, but thank you for joining me. So proud of you for showing up. That's half the battle, all right? We're gonna cool down. I'm gonna take some deep breaths. I'm gonna let that heart rate come down. I did not start my watch. Darn, let's inhale. Through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Again, be sure to let me know if you prefer to click on a video for the cool down or if you like having it as part of the workout. I'm good either way. I'm gonna put mine in there, so it's up to you. Good, and down. And again, up, hold it this time. And exhale. Good job. All right, I'm feeling those shoulders a little bit. Let's go ahead, bring this arm across the body, shoulders down. This will be a quick five minute cool down. Stretching is very important, I can't say it enough. And I'm not gonna lie, I am as guilty as ever when it comes to doing more workout and less stretching, switch sides. All right, I always wanna fit in a little more cardio, a little more lifting, and kind of let this go. So be sure that you don't become one of those people. All right, shorten muscles, tight muscles, um, can become weaker muscles at time, and um, really hard to deal with. They can cause some muscle imbalances as well. Let's go ahead and reach behind, stretch out that chest. And I will tell you, in working with older adults, that uh, one of the things you're going to really want and really uh, need mostly as we age is gonna be that mobility and flexibility. So make it a part of your routine, a part of your health. All right, if you need to know where to go for that, I have some favorite YouTubers that do a good job of that. I also have somebody local that I can direct you to as well. All right, nice work there, that feels good. Let's go ahead and interlace those fingers, chin to chest, round it out, push out the back there. Ooh, there we go, feel that. Oh, I do. Same spot every time. Let's go over to the side, left ear to left shoulder. I haven't done this stretching routine in a while. One of my favorites. Over to the side. So if you prefer an extra video at the end, please let me know. I will make a few more so you have a variety to choose from. Left side again, left ear to left shoulder. Right side, right ear to right shoulder. Nice work. Let's get those quads. We're gonna stand, but we can lay down. Something that gets really tight, okay, can tug on the knee. It can pull us into an anterior tilt. All right, this way, that stretches out our glutes, turns them off, so many things. Just know the stretching is good for you. I know it's hard to slow down. There's a lot of us who don't wanna slow down to do it. And they're done that. I do fine, there you go. Let's switch to the other side. I really enjoy doing my foam rolling and stretching at night. It's very relaxing to me, kind of props me for bed. Um, so I will turn on the TV and then just kind of work on my body, working from my feet up. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. But stretch, find time, make time. It will help you in here, I promise you. All right, nice work. Okay, we still have time. Let's come down to the floor. Let's get a little hip stretch here as well. We should probably do those hip flexors. I'm gonna move through a few of these important places. So go ahead here and bring that right leg, foot over that left leg. You're gonna grab and hug that knee in towards your chest, sitting tall. Great job. And breathe. This is the important part too, is a lot of times we do this and we're just either shallow breathing through our chest here, upper chest, or we're not breathing at all. We're kind of holding our breath. Guilty here. So right now, let's breathe in through our nose. Feel the ribs expand and then exhale. Feel them come back in. So a couple deep breaths like that. Feels good. I know. Not used to that. Go ahead and give it a little twist. Then we're gonna switch to that other side. Five minutes goes so fast as you can see. We only have 45 seconds left of the stretch before I say goodbye. So make some extra time. Five minutes isn't enough. You sit at a desk and you can find a 10 minute break sitting at your desk just to do some stretches. Please do. Be willing to make a video for that too so you know what to do. Go ahead and turn without being without everyone noticing what you were up to. <laughs> Good. I'll get in here. Nice work. All right, we're gonna come to our hands and knees. And I just want you to bring those toes together, knees wide. I want you to push back. 
Feel the stretch in the lats, under the shoulders as you kind of push forward here, keeping those um, hands stuck in, and pushing the hips back. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. All right, that was a full 30. I feel like we covered a ton in that amount. Thank you, no repeats, right? Let me know what you uh, thought about this video and I look forward to see you next time. Take care all. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.